Hey, what is up? So we're getting a new Fusion Legendary soon and I thought that they were going to delay this because of course we are getting those special events that they planned out for uh, Plarium's 13th anniversary uh, for the first two weeks of June. So I thought that they were going to push back the Fusion, but no, they're going to put this alongside these uh, 13th anniversary special events. So yeah, so this is Helicath. He is a legendary champion from the Demon Spawn. Uh, Spirit-based, defense-based champion looks really cool as well. Of course, Plarium never disappoints with the uh, art style for these champions. And yeah, uh, let's take a look at this guy. He he does seem like a, he has a very nice kit, both for um, end game players and even for new players. Uh, he's going to be a fusion le legendary though, not the fragments. So it's going to be... Personally, I think this is more difficult of the two, wherein you need to build up rares, um, make them or fuse them into epics. You al also have to make sure that you have enough potions. So I think this is more resource, uh, resource intensive in terms of energy, in terms of shards. Uh, so this will be more difficult, especially for free to play or newer players, but still quite doable. I think if you really take take the time and uh, manage your energy wisely. So yeah, he does have a double hit A1. Each hit has a 30% chance of placing weaken and will ignore shield and block damage. Of course, that sec second part is really more for arena, for PvP, but can be useful for PvE as well, especially that weaken will help uh, bring, bring down bosses a lot quicker. Also has an uh, AoE A2. Places a shield buff on all allies for two turns and the value of the shield is proportional to this champion's defense. Of course, he uh, we're expecting that he will have a high de defense being a defensive based champion. Sort of uh, reminds me of Valkyrie's shield, but of course without the counter attack. Uh, so it will be interesting to see how hard this hits. And he does have a nice... A3 that places a block damage buff on all allies for two turns on a six turn cooldown might... Uh, might possibly be booked down to a four turn cooldown so a potential block damage champion for clan boss along with the shields there so that might be something nice to play ar around with and the passive effect which i think is more for arena whenever this block damage buff uh, placed on an ally is removed stolen or expires places a 60 percent increased defense on that ally for two turns so regardless Whenever those uh, two turns on the in on, on the block damage expires, you get that increased defense. Or when they're prematurely removed, like for example, you're in arena and a Madame Ceres strips all of your uh, your block damage, you will get that increased defense to make sure that you can counter the decreased defense that is placed on you by the Madame Ceres. So I think that's pretty cool there. And has a nice passive that increases this champion's defense by five for each ally under block damage and counterattacks with a default skill whenever an ally is hit while under a block damage buff can occur only once per turn. So we'll counterattack with the A1 that places weekend and will ignore shield and block damage. Pretty cool. And uh, the aura is increases ally defense in all battles by 30%. Very useful champion. I can see him. I can definitely see him in clan boss teams, in Hydra as well, in Doom Tower, of course. That shield can be useful for the Scarab boss. And in PvP in Arena can be of some use there. Probably not for endgame Arena, but definitely if you're working your way up to Gold Arena can be very useful. And yeah, I think this is a very all around, a very flexible, can be used for early game, mid game, end game. PvP, PvE, I think it's going to be great. Uh, yeah, so really looking forward to this one. Uh, I hope that they don't make the, the fusion that difficult because, again, uh, they're in competition with Diablo Immortal, which was released today, um, except for me because I am unfortunately in that part of the world we're in. We have to wait until June 22nd before we get to play Diablo Immortal. Immortal. Now I know there are other ways to play the game, uh, but you know I want to do it the the legit ways. I'm go gonna have to wait for how long is this? Three more weeks. Uh, but yeah, I, ha I have to be patient. Uh, and uh, 
all I can do is uh, watch o- other people play Diablo Immortal. But yeah, um, probably by the time Diablo Immortal comes out, we're in the middle of this fusion right here. Really looking forward to this guy. I hope again that they don't make the fusion that difficult, you know, uh, to entice more raid players to come stay and play raid, you know. But yeah, looks like a really good fusion. Make sure you don't miss out on this one. He is going to be very use useful. You can put him in so many different scenarios depending on where you need the most help. All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.